Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on my Mini Cooper. Many times, uh, you guys DM me on Instagram, for example, and you always ask me, you know, what mods you should do to your car. And I don't really like to, you know, I guess tell you exactly how you should mod your car, but many people are interested, like, what the best first mods to do to these cars uh, would be, you know, what I would recommend. So that's what we're going to be going over in today's video. I'm going to be letting you know, in my opinion, the top five best mods you can do for your uh, Mini Cooper. Now, mind you, this is going to be more towards the Mini Cooper S if you have a turbo model car. Um, I might go over a thing or two uh, if you have a base model. Uh, you know universal to any car that you can do, but this is going to be mainly focusing on the turbocharged um, R you know R56 R58 anything with an N18 N14 engine that's going to be focusing on that in today's video So remember this is going to be subjective and at the same time though. I want you guys to know that I'm not gonna include two things that I know most people are gonna say because I feel like that's spending a lot more money than maybe the first beginner uh, modifier would do so that's not going to include doing a bigger turbo and this video is not going to include um, you know what kind of tune you should run because there are many different tunes that you guys could choose from and there's different turbo options you guys could choose from so I'm not going to tell you in this video which route to go with that a lot of people that are going to be watching this are most likely stock turbo with just uh, some bolt-ons so just keep that in mind I'm not going to be going over the tune that you should go for um, with these cars and I'm not going to be going over what turbo you should run in these cars mind you once you do a tune and a turbo in these cars uh, most likely you have to upgrade the clutch too if you have a manual so that's a lot more money but anyways let's get into it the top five must do mods for your mini cooper s we're going to be starting in the front of the car as you can see i have an upgraded bigger front mount intercooler so these cars from factory unfortunately come with a very small tiny intercooler and the cars tend to get heat soaked pretty easy and uh, getting a larger front mount really benefits the performance of this car just for example on the stock front mount with my ultra gauge let's say it was 90 degrees outside my car's uh, intake temperatures would be somewhere between like 110 120 consistently it was always like 20 to 30 degrees uh, hotter than the actual uh, atmosphere outside and the ambient air after i switched over to the bigger front mount usually let's say again if it was like 90 degrees my car would be somewhere around 90 degrees maybe a few more degrees colder or a few more degrees hotter so the front mount intercooler definitely makes a huge difference in you know your intake temperatures it'll keep your car running about the same as ambient uh, temperature outside so again for example if it's 90 degrees your car should be running somewhere between like 85 and 95 as long as you're not sitting you know at a light where the car is going to get a little hotter but with the original stock front mount the very tiny one obviously if you guys have modified your car already you really know how small the original factory one is you can see anywhere from like 110 120 if you're sitting at a light it'll go even higher so that's the first mod that you guys absolutely need to do to your mini cooper is get a larger front mount if you're deciding to modify your car for performance this is one of the best first bang for your buck mods that you can do to your car all right guys so second we're under the hood of the car two of the things that you guys need to do absolutely would be your hot side tube and your cold side tube, uh, the intercooler, charge pipes, whatever you guys want to call it. That's definitely a must-do mod. These cars benefit so much from those two pipes, it's not even funny. It opens up the car so much. The throttle response is so much better. You get so much turbo induction noise, etc. Like, you guys have no idea how much of a benefit these two tubes are for this car. I mean, when I had replaced both of my stock ones, now, if you guys know, the hot side tube comes with like a little turbo muffler on the inside which restricts a lot of airflow and then the cold side as well it, it, i mean they're just not that great from the factory when you upgrade them these cars really shine like i said the throttle response gets a hundred times better um it feels kind of like if the car is quicker in reality which it might not actually be faster but it is letting more air flow through the system and again with how quick the throttle response is when you put your foot down it's going to be kind of hard to go back to driving like a stock one when you do this two upgrades i actually drove a buddy of mine's um a couple of weeks ago that has these stock uh hot and cold side tubes and it's actually a big difference to how much more responsive the cars are when you do this upgrade so the second upgrade that I definitely recommend you guys do, and mind you, this is in no particular order, is going to be your hot and your cold side tubes. I definitely recommend it, and they are worth every penny. For the third thing, we're going to stay under the hood, and as you can see with this tacky gold tape, whatever, 
um, is a cold air intake. I definitely recommend a cold air intake for these cars. They sound way better, and again, it improves your throttle response. You're gonna hear that nice blow off that everybody loves to hear on your turbocharged cars. So an intake is a definitely a definite must do mod for these cars. These stock intakes are honestly kind of crappy and they tend to rip, they tend to break, and they're not very good. They're, you know, they don't flow as well as something like this. The stock airbox, I mean, it's okay, but this just looks aesthetically better and the performance is a hundred times better than anything stock would do. And you get all the cool turbo noises. So now I'm not telling you guys to buy a CTS. There's definitely many different brands that you can choose from when it comes to uh, buying a intake, but definitely I've seen very good results with the CTS cold air intake. So this would be the third thing that I, rec that I recommend you guys get. It's definitely a cold air intake. They sound really good. It'll improve your throttle response. You'll get all the turbo noises that you, you, know, you need to have when it comes to one of these cars because most of the experience, or well, I'm gonna say most, but some of the experience in driving one of these cars is all the amazing noises that it makes. So this will definitely improve the quality of sound from your car and it'll make you sound faster than you are. You know, just a joke, but anyways, guys, get a colder intake, it's definitely worth it. So now the fourth thing I'm going to recommend to you guys now, it's going to be hard to show because of all the heat shielding and whatnot, is I definitely recommend a full exhaust for these cars. I feel like a full exhaust is what really makes these cars shine. As you guys know, if you have one, if you have a tuned Mini Cooper, these things pop and bang so easily and just getting an aftermarket exhaust from the turbo back really will improve that sound, the pops, the bangs. It's one of the best things you could do for any kind of car, not just a Mini Cooper, but if you own a Mini Cooper, you guys know how easy this car likes to pop and bang. It is so worth it. These cars sound so good with exhaust. So now my personal setup, if you guys don't know, I have a CNT Racing Catalyst downpipe all the way. It's straight through. Um, the car's aired out right now. I'm not going to air it up to show, but it goes back to four inch Flowmaster tips. So it's a full from the turbo back. It's a full exhaust, no restrictions in the exhaust at all. Now I don't recommend you guys do what I did and straight pipe it. And again, the downpipe is going to be kind of hard to see because it's under all the shielding. But I don't recommend you guys do what I did by straight piping it. You know, they sell high flow cast. They sell, you know, the 200 cell uh, CATA downpipes. They sell full regular exhaust. You can custom make your exhaust with resonators, mufflers, etc. So that's just my opinion. I like, you know, this isn't my daily, so I don't mind the car being super loud when I do drive it. You know, I might drive the car once a week, twice a week. Sometimes I don't even drive it every week. So for me, having the loud car really doesn't affect me that much. But I do definitely, guys, recommend you get an exhaust. That's one of the best things you could do for these cars is get an exhaust. And like I said, for any kind of car that you own, an exhaust is one of the first modifications that, you know, most people think of to do. And these cars really shine. You'll definitely see an improvement. And again, you know, once you get tuned or even if, for example, if you have an N18 engine, uh, the F series, the R53, for example, they already have the pops and bangs uh factored into the factory tune so once you open up the exhaust you can really hear them and obviously once you get a tune it'll amplify and create more pops and bangs if that's what you're into and remember you do have the sport button so you don't have to have pops and bangs consistently all the time if you don't want to but definitely guys an exhaust is one of the best things you can do for these cars again and i definitely recommend it and again you don't have to go my route i am straight piped they do sound really good I do have a lot of videos on my Instagram that'll be down in the description if you guys want to watch that. Um, I have other revving videos of this car from like a year or two ago that you guys can listen to if you're interested in doing something like that. But um, there's so many videos out on YouTube so you can hear different exhaust combinations. But definitely an exhaust is one of the must-do mods for this car if you're going the performance modifying route for it. And alright guys, last but not least, I think something else that you guys must do if you're going to be into the whole performance thing is do some sort of suspension upgrade. As everybody knows, these cars handle amazing from the factory. These cars are little street go-karts, legal street go-karts. Everybody knows that. If you've ever driven a Mini, even stock, completely stock, you know that these cars handle so easily. And upgrading the suspension with, you know, lightweight wheels and tires just make the experience that much more fun. Now, again, my car is bagged. I have, you know, stretched wheels and tires and whatnot. So I'm not... I used to be into the whole like good handling performance and whatnot and then I kind of got away from it and I kind of made this into like a stance show slash I mean performance car if you want to consider it something like that with all the bolt-ons that it has and whatnot but definitely you know doing 
lowering springs with some sway bars upgraded, you know, an upgraded sway bar, upgraded sway bar links. Uh, a good set of coilovers will really make this car shine. These cars are perfect for the track. This is a perfect track car. Suspension is honestly one of the best things that you guys can do overall. And again, this car is bagged. So, I mean, my handling hasn't been terrible, even with the stretched tires. The handling hasn't been too bad, as you can see, just to show. I know a lot of people are in into this whole look, but it is what it is. It's my car, right? So, definitely, though, um, even with the bags, the handling hasn't been too bad, which I'm super happy about. And even with the stretched tires on the wheels, it's not even too bad either. So, suspension, guys, is a definite must-do. I definitely recommend it to anybody that's going to be upgrading their Mini Cooper. Suspension is one of the most best bang for your buck possible. Now, a lot of suspension, really good suspension, isn't like very affordable, for example. Uh, well, it depends what you guys think is affordable, but if you're going for something, let's say, BC Racing Coilovers, you know, that's a really good bang for your buck. They handle really well. They ride really well. Uh, they're around $1,000, so it really depends on what you want to go for but suspension guys it's a must do depending on what you're going to go for in the mini i definitely recommend upgrading it even though the stock suspension and all the handling is really good from factory upgrading the suspension just makes this car an even bigger track weapon for whatever you want to do or even a more comfortable street car so do your suspension it is going to be definitely worth it and totally recommend it Anyways, guys, that's going to conclude the video. Thank you for watching. Now, this is just a subjective video of what I think are the best mods to go for when you're going to be modifying one of these cars. You guys can go a whole different kind of route if you want to. I just think for making the car feel good, sound good, look good, handle good, this is the best way you could go about to start. Now, again, I didn't mention upgrading the turbo just because, yes, it would be an amazing mod. I've been in big turbo minis. I've driven big turbo minis, and they are fun. They are quick. They move, and I understand that. But by upgrading the turbo, then you got to do the clutch if you have a manual. So right there, you're already spending probably two and a half to three grand right there just doing the turbo. And I'm not trying to, you know, say, oh, guys, you know, you need to do a turbo to have a fun mini you need to do this to have a fun mini no that's not what i want to do and i didn't include the tune in a must do even though obviously tuning the car is a must do mod because when you do all these kind of upgrades doing a tune will obviously benefit the car more it'll actually um, give you the right performance gains when you get a tune for all the things that you do to the engine but uh there's many different routes you could go with from tuning you know so do your research i'm not going to tell you guys what tune to choose uh there's like I said, there's many research, I mean, many uh, different routes to go. Just do your research and you'll find a bunch of different tuners for these cars that you can do. So just know that. But yeah, guys, so that's going to conclude it. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of little bolt-ons you can do in the engine that are going to be super fun. And after that, once you do your suspension, then you could pair that with wheels and tires and whatnot. These cars are so much fun. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. The channel, like I said, is growing slow, but it's doing well for what it is. And um, honestly, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Um, stay tuned for more content. I'm going to be having more content with the Mini and the Miata. So anyways, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out and lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And have a good one.